Yes, I'm here with Jasmine and Aaron, beautiful couple, and um, you guys had a contemporary routine with Justin Giles today about based on the giving tree. Um, tree, I mean, that's like everyone, every dancer's dream to be a tree. Um, yeah. <laughs> how was it in rehearsals? Tell me about it. Um, this routine was a little bit tough just because, um, well, one, I played a tree, but I still had to be dancing. The apple was tough because it would literally just fall out of my hand while I was standing there. And then another part, it wasn't just uh, a regular love connection between us, uh, yeah. like a relationship. I was more of a nurturing, like, mother figure to him. So that was tough to find that and sell that character. But Justin was amazing with um, helping us find the story behind it and everything like that so yeah I would say that it was more you know Justin and his the way that he he envisioned this mm -hmm. whole idea because it was a very unique idea mm -hmm. kind of out there but he brought it to life like he was so capable of expre explaining it and expressing it to us that we became like so 100% committed like we were so behind yeah. this story that I, I just felt it like I, I was it was it was an amazing experience like one of my one of my favorite experiences that's how you think hands down I was blown away I think it was like so great it scared me that you guys had to throw an apple around because I was like if that drops just I'm gonna like rip I was, got, no. got me so scared because yeah, I know I how this works with a prop mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I was scared too um with um being in the bottom like how did that feel like I we never had to deal with it on our season but I yeah. know that must suck to have to be able to do that it's hard um, at the beginning of the show you know when you hear that you're in the bottom you just have to immediately go into survivor mode you don't have time to think about yeah. really anything else you just have to save yourself and dance for your life in that moment literally so that's all I was thinking about I wanted to do this for myself and for Aaron for our partnership and everything turned out well so I mean you're one of my favorites so it baffled me that you were in the yeah, bottom I and I but I knew you were going to be safe. Um, another thing, um, you guys have been kind of like known as like the mature couple yeah. on this season. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, he's the oldest guy and I'm the oldest girl on the show, so that yeah, might have... Oh! <laughs> back hurting! Yeah. So literally, yes. my back hurts. <laughs> so that might have something to do with it, but I think just... Um, how professional we are yeah, in, yeah. I was in gonna say professional approach yeah. it, it really has to be like the mindset we're always you know our work ethic we're strictly to business mm -hmm. and we we overcommit and we're both yeah. perfectionists mm -hmm. nor are we afraid to like talk to one another about moves and stuff like that you know we're we're our, we're each other's worst critics so we're like our work ethic really like allows us to take it there when we overcommit we allow it allows us to dig a little bit deeper and dive a little bit deeper but I think our age does help I honestly yeah. do I mean as I continue to get older I continue to get better because of what I had learned wiser yeah. so on a more serious note getting wiser and things like that since you guys are the wise couple <laughs> did the chicken or the egg come first <laughs> the <laughs> I mean the, I think the chicken. <laughs> I think the um well, that doesn't make any sense because... Well, the egg doesn't make any sense either. Where the egg come from? You're going with the egg? Oh, you're right. But, I mean... Where did the chicken come from? Not wise enough is what I'm telling you. <laughs>